Welcome back, ninjas. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. So we're gonna do an updated gaming test uh, with the Damon PS2 Pro emulator on the Pocophone F1, but this time using, uh, of course, uh, uh, having the updated version of the Pocophone F1 with. Uh, just a minute, with Android 9 Pi. Yes, I'm gonna just show you right now here, updated GPU drivers, slightly better performance there, uh, at least what I saw with the different smartphones, but we're gonna see what, what happened with the Pocophone F1. Okay, I can't say slightly, Daemon PS2, OnePlus, uh, basically, uh, I checked it that uh, in Daemon, it is a, big, a difference, it is a difference, ninjas, ninjas, a noticeable difference. Anyway, you can see it by yourself, Android version, Pi, 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 Pi. Da -da -da. Anyway, let's go. I'm gonna just try to find it. It's over here. Also using the Ipaga gamepad, PG1999, the best gamepad in the world for $23, ninjas. Nothing can beat this cheap, cheap gadget from China. Anyway, let's go over with the Resident Evil 4 media. I'm using the same uh, settings. Uh, which I used in my comparisons videos, uh, and you can check them. I will probably maybe even show on the end of this video those comparison, uh, that comparison sample. So you're gonna see the difference. Let me just put the brightness a little bit brighter, I think so. Yeah, yeah. And let's see here. So yeah, watch this video till the end, just because I'm gonna show you also the samples, the same games, uh, the same game, example Resident Evil 4, uh, but with the Android 8 Oreo and those older GPU drivers. Drivers! Resident Evil 4. 4. Okay, and just before I go into the gameplay, I just want to show you the price tags here. Gearbest is selling the Pokephone F1 for $310, the red version, and 128 version is selling for $330. Banggood is selling it for $339, uh, the 64 gigabyte version. And $360, the 128 gigabyte version. But you're gonna have the discount coupon uh, in the description for the Pocophone F1. You can get it uh, under $300 with my discount coupon. So please make sure to use it. Uh, anyway, let's begin with the gameplay. Ta -da 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 let's see here what is happening. If there's any difference at all, I'm gonna play it for one minute, two minutes. We'll see. Okay, ninjas, I have to admit that there is a difference, ninjas. There is a difference here, indeed, and you will see by the end of this video, there is a difference indeed. You see, by itself, sometimes we can even get 60 FPS. Even with the OnePlus 60 or the Mi Mix 3, we don't get constantly 60 FPS. So this is very impressive. This is the same uh, OnePlus 60 and Mi Mix 3 do get here uh, almost the same result. I think this is the same result here at this stage when I'm walking right now or running. What is he dead? What? Just one bullet. How is that possible, bro? Nice, bro. Nice speeds. Difference, ninjas. Honestly, there is a difference. You can see it by yourself. Uh, for the. For the, uh, for the Daemon emulator, you don't even have to wait for the next update. What I mean by it, that the GPU drivers mean a lot also, not just... Not just uh, basically the version of the uh, of the emulator. Of course, that is also important. But uh, like you see by yourself, using the same version of the emulator, but just different GPU drivers. And it is a difference, Ninjas. It's a big difference. Huh? It's cool, man. It isn't bad, man. Should be cool. Beautiful, beautiful. Pokemon F1 just gets better and better right now, and more reasons to get it over the Honor Play ninjas because Honor Play is also around three hundred dollars. Un 
So we get average 45 FPS, not bad at all, not bad at all. With Android 8 Oreo, uh, two months ago, uh, barely I had under 30 dollars, uh, 30 FPS or so, Ninjas. Barely. Trust me, man. I might even show that uh, test, but I did use slightly different uh, kind of. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. Okay. Oh, got 48. Empty. Okay, let's go to the next game. Okay, Kingdom of Hearts, Ninjas. Kingdom of Hearts. <laughs> Check it out, man. Check the speed, bro. Running 60 FPS, bro. Running 60 FPS. Come on, jump, man. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, let's go now in the attack mode. Beautiful. I told you, Ninjas. I told you Pokemon F1 will get better. Now it won't slow down by the time. It's gonna just get better and better. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So I don't know why people still have the mentality of saying that Chinese smartphones will slow get slower by time when that's not the truth. Here we go, ninjas. Pokemon F1 from the day one right now, it is better. An example for the gaming here, at least for the emulators, is like around almost 20, 25% faster in the Damon PS2 emulator. Maybe even more than that, man. Maybe even 30% faster with this uh, Android 9 Pi right now. That's for praising, isn't it, man? Beautiful. 60 FPS constantly here with the Kingdom of Hearts. Uh, I, I couldn't get constantly 60 FPS with the previous uh, Android 8 Oreo version. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Leave me, leave me there. There you go, small FPS drops, which is completely fine. Who the heck is this? Ah, that's why the FPS dropped there, because I added some extra card or something. What was that? I don't know what was that. Well, there was something special. That's why the FPS dropped. But nevertheless, Ninjas, you can enjoy. You can enjoy. You can see by yourself. Very smooth. Very smooth indeed. Uh, with Android 8, just uh, here running in this regular mode, regular stage in the map, I couldn't get the speed, Ninjas. I couldn't get the speed. It was still laggy. Jump. And let's go attack again. Nice. Also, I'm going to test Dragon Ball Z Sagas just for one minute after this game and then on the end I'm gonna show you the previous version of the Resident uh, of course the previous version of the Pokemon F1 with Resident Evil 4. I'm gonna just use one single example because Resident Evil 4 it is right now for the Damon PS2 uh, for the comparison uh, basically purposes it is the best game to benchmark your smartphone or at least to do comparison videos Okay, let's go with the Dragon Ball Z. You get the point here, running really smooth. There we go, Dragon Ball Z Sagas, running on the Pokemon F1. Huge, huge difference, Ninjas. I'm telling you, it's a huge, huge difference with Android 9 Pi. Oh my god, very, very similar as the OnePlus 60 and the Mi Mix 3, Ninjas. Very, very similar. Still, OnePlus 60, uh, it is a slightly, slightly better, but... That's honestly uh, shocking since this smartphone it is $250 cheaper. Of course you do, do not get better uh, basically camera, better build, better screen. But you get very similar performance. And that what is the mo most important thing for a lot of people. At least for the gamers. At least for the gamers there. Aha, uh -huh, he missed me. Ah, he done missed me. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, it's always difficult to...
<laughs> Crazy. Poco for F1 ninjas. Like you see by yourself, a big big reason to get this smartphone right now over the honor play. If you are truly a gamer, this is the best buy of all time. And it's a huge difference and, and I have to tell you that uh, if you are an emulator, of course uh, not most of the users or the gamers uh, do use emulators. This is just a small amount of the people if we generally looking generally the basically the the world. Not so many people even know what emulators are. Not so many people. Yeah, yeah. Of course, not so many people. Mainstream thing. Anyway, what I want to say is that the Honor Play uh, won't even come closer to the Pokemon F1 regarding the emulators. It's not even close, ninjas. Anyway, this is it. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, share, and like, and use my promo links below to purchase this beast. Also, I'm gonna have the buying links for the Honor Play if you decide to get it uh, over the Pokemon F1. Support my channel by shopping online. Asalaamu Remember, also the game pass will be below regarding the temps. Doesn't heat, doesn't heat. Pokemon F1 doesn't heat. If it doesn't heat with the PUBG, it won't heat with the uh, with the emulators, ninjas. Impressive, impressive smartphone. The battery got better, ninjas. The battery life got better. The speed got better. At least regarding the gaming, regarding the real life uh, or multitasking, it's exactly the same in everyday apps, ninjas. Very, very similar. It's, oh, not very similar. It's exactly the same. I've done the speed test between Android 8 and Android 9. It's already on my uh, YouTube channel. So check it out. It's better with the gamepad than just, but I can't connect uh, three gamepads right now and <laughs> try to balance them. And oh my god, it's really tricky to do these comparisons with three smartphones. Remember Ninjas, uh, Android 8, a little bit more older GPU drivers. Huge defense ninjas running your average 35 FPS. Android 9 is just with the OnePlus 60 here. Oh my god. Huge, huge difference, bro. Huge, huge difference. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the gearbest.com and banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!